Here we're going to visualise the knee of the compressor. You can hear the knee of the compressor in another of my videos, which I'll link below, but here we're going to try and see the difference between hard and soft. I'll start off by making a new track, and I'm going to call it Sign. So on this track, firstly I'm going to make a, a clip, and then I'm going to fill it with a sine wave. So I'll go to my signal generator, Plug in, uh, 1000 Hz is OK. I'm going to set the level to minus 1 dBFS, so we've got a nice strong level there. So I don't need that anymore. Let's just expand that out a bit. OK, I need to vary the level from as quiet as possible all the way up to full level. So I'll do that by setting a trim plugin. So there we go, that's my trim plugin. And I'm going to automate the gain. So if I add that to the automation parameters. Okay, I don't need to see that anymore. And I can see the gain on here. Now, I'm going to set a breakpoint in the automation right at the end there, so that'll be my full level, and bring that down all the way to minus infinity. So we can listen to it now, and for the video I'm going to reduce the level of the sine wave because I don't want to blast your ears out. Here we go. OK, good, that's exactly what we expect. Now, I need a compressor that's got a variable knee, so I'm going to choose the standard Pro Tools compressor, which is a fully featured compressor, and it's got a variable knee, as we can see here. So we can set that to hard, and you can see the hard corner of the knee there, or I can set that to soft, and you can see the soft knee, just as we expect. I'll set that back to totally hard again. I've worked out some good settings for this demonstration. I'm going to use a ratio of 10 to 1. I'm going to set a threshold of minus 30 dB, and I'm going to set a gain of 18 decibels to bring the level back up again. And those are settings that I know will work well for this. So we can hear it right now and take a look at this display as I play the sine wave through. Okay, that's enough. So we can see the level crossing the threshold, but we can't really see the sharpness or the hardness of the knee except in this little diagram here. So I want to visualize it better than that. So I'm going to create two new tracks, so two new audio tracks, and I'm going to name them. So this one I'm going to call it hard, and the next one I'm going to call it soft, simple as that. And I'll go to the Mixer page, and I'm going to set the output of my sine wave track to bus 1. And the inputs of my two new tracks, I'm going to set those both to bus 1. So the sine wave track is now feeding both of these tracks. So I'll set this one, the hard track, into record. I can just take that away again. And uh, record. Here we go. OK, there we have it. I'll just stretch these out a little bit. I'll make it jumbo in size. That's good. So we can see now, we can see that the level increases here and here, below the threshold, so there's no compression. And here, 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 above the threshold, there's a compression of 10 to 1, so the level rises more slowly. But here, this is exactly the threshold level, and you can see the hardness of the knee, so it's very well visualized in this case. So, having done that, let's progress to a soft knee. So I'll take that out of record, I'll mute it, and I'll put this track into record, and I'll set the softest knee that I can. Just go back to the beginning and record. And there we have it. We can see the level rising below the threshold. We can see the level rising above the threshold at a slower rate. But here we can see that the transition between uncompressed 
and compressed is a much gentler process. So there we have it. We've visualised the difference between hard knee and soft knee in a compressor. Thank you for listening.